Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's playoff hockey time. We got whacked by the Panthers last night, but it's all right. I'm still repping. Game two coming up tomorrow. Anyways, in this video, I'm going to show you guys the exact strategy and system we used to scale our go high level SaaS from zero to ten thousand dollars a month there's mainly two different funnels <laughs> i'm still holding the stick there's mainly two different funnels that we ran here first one got us from zero to four or five k next one will take you from five to well wherever you're looking to go we're, we're, we're still climbing up running that second funnel so i'm gonna break uh i'm gonna break all those down for you guys show you guys the numbers behind it Okay, literally exactly what we did. Might not be exactly what you think you should do or what you have in mind, but I'm just gonna show you what worked for us. And I'm also gonna show you some things that we tried along the way that did not work for us. So this might save you some time because we tested a lot of different funnels, different, just, just different ways to bring customers in and a lot of them didn't work. So let's break all those down here, okay? Let me, uh, I'm going to keep this jersey on as long as it doesn't get too, as long as it get, doesn't get too hot in here. I think I need to put my ring light back there. Hold on. You know what? Nah. Good enough. It is what it is, right? Not about the video quality, right? I posted a video breaking down kind of how, um, well, it was really more of like a documentary on how we, we started this new high-level SaaS and brought it from zero to $4,000 in that first month. You guys can check that video out if you want, but just to give you a summary, the... Oh, a, a higher level overview here, what we did was month one to get it from zero to 4K. And this is what I recommend doing if you're running it just by yourself, like you're either you're just kind of getting this going for the first time or you're just starting to scale it. We started with paid ads right off the bat. I'm not gonna get into in this video, like, you know, organic strategies. You probably already know what you have to do if you don't wanna spend any money on ads, you literally just have to go onto Google, type in your niche and either cold call, cold email, cold DM, and try to get those people on the phone, try to get them on a one-to-one -one demo where you can walk them through the system. Um, but that isn't what we did with this one, so I wanna show you guys exactly what we did. But you really don't, like we didn't, we didn't spend an insane amount. And I'm gonna show you guys how these numbers kind of break down here. So let me load this up. But just to give you like a higher level overview, the strategy that we used to go from zero to 4K was one-to-one -one demos. So that's where we're doing one-to-one -one sales calls. We're running paid ads to a one-to-one -one demo. Like it, it, you don't have to build some crazy funnel. We literally just ran the ads to a landing page that had a calendar integrated there. They go in, they book a time for a demo of the system for a sales call. And that is the strategy that we used to go from zero to $4,000 in monthly recurring revenue in that first month. Okay, and I'm gonna break down the numbers behind that to uh, give you an idea of like what you could expect if you are looking to, to go down this route, okay? Um, so typically what we saw, the lead cost will fluctuate a bit. We were honestly consistent at $20 for an appointment. We're not qualifying in any way. We were kind of qualifying on the ads that we ran, like we're calling out our target audience, briefly explaining what the SaaS actually does and how it will help them. They have an idea of like what they're getting involved with. And it's a super low ticket monthly recurring subscription for them. So it's not like we had to overly qualify them for like a two to 3K either upfront or per month package. So we, we didn't really do any qualifications. So this right here is gonna break down your weekly ad spend, how much you collect and then your net and how much you're adding, or this is net on the week and then how much you're adding in recurring revenue, right? So let's say you're spending 50 bucks a day. We'll call it 25 bucks an appointment just to go up a little bit. You'll probably range from like 15 to 30. If you're not doing any qualifications and you're just running all the traffic to your booking page. So this $50 a day spend, if you have appointments coming in at 25 bucks, that's gonna give you 14 appointments registered for the week, okay? What we saw, typically around a 50% show rate, you could do things to increase this, like you could call your leads a day before, um, you know, just to try to get them, or send them videos to try to get them a little more interested. We honestly didn't do any of that. We just sent them follow-up texts and follow-up emails, uh, confirming the appointment and reminding them to join the appointment. So with that, we would you like, it, it's pretty crazy how consistent it is. We would get a 50% show rate. Now on these one-to-ones, we started with, and this is where you can kind of, you, you know, you're gonna have to test your pricing to see what works, but we were seeing around a 25 to even like 33% close rate 
on our 297 package when we were doing one-to-one -one demos. The 297 a month price point is pretty common and works pretty well for like high-level SaaS type of uh, type of offers. So say you're closing 25%, which it can be higher. 25 isn't some crazy close rate on a 297 month product. Okay, so with these numbers, per week, you're spending 350 bucks on ad spend. And with the 297 package, collecting $520 in recurring or closing two deals here. So on the week, that nets you 170 bucks of like profit on the front end. And then you add $2,000 in monthly recurring revenue, right? So if you wanna double this, if you wanna do, you know, how we did it was getting the 4K MRR, was spending $100 a day, so we're spending 700 bucks a week. But with this, we're getting 28 people registered, 14 show, closing around four deals. So we're collecting over $1,000 a week and even though it's not much on the front end here like we're only net 340 bucks we're still adding that 400 or that four thousand dollars in recurring revenue every month and this will give you some room too like you know it'll give you room for your appointment cost to jack up to 30 35 bucks like really all you want to do is you want to just be breaking even on the front end and adding this recurring that's that's kind of the name of the game with uh this lower ticket type of SaaS model when you're running paid ads. You just wanna break even and cover your spend on the front end here. So now, you know, let's say you have $25. Okay, these are like realistic numbers. This is, we had 20 bucks for, we actually had even less. Uh, we had 15 for a while, and then it kind of bumped up to 20, 25. So this is where, you know, if you're doing this, you just grind for a month. If you wanna get to 4K MRR, like this is kind of what your calendar is gonna look like. If you're spending a hundred bucks a day, booking 28 appointments a week, talking to 14 people. After this, there's really, you know, you're gonna hit a point where, all right, say you wanna spend 200 bucks a day. Well, now you're gonna have 56 people registered a week for one-to-one -one demos. Like you're just gonna cap yourself out. You're not gonna be wanting to take 28 calls and have like 60 calls on the board that could show, right? Like you're, not all of them are gonna show, but you have to be at your seat, at your chair, bolted to the chair, waiting for to, to, to see if these people are gonna show, right? So it's like a, complete full-time thing. If you wanted to grind this out for a month and stack up that recurring, but you know, you're, you're, you're getting 56 calls booked. And that's 56 calls booked a week. Like that's, that's pretty crazy, right? So what we did here was pivot, and this is what we're still running to this day. Um, I have breakdowns, like I think, yeah, it was my last video, I posted a breakdown of our last week's webinar. Now, you know, once you start spending like 100, honestly over, yeah, 150 is kind of your max if you're doing all the sales calls by yourself, like this is like a full-time schedule here. You're getting 40 calls booked a week. So you kind of have two options. You could either scale out a sales team, which is good, but it's tough with a lower ticket um, product like this because if you're giving the closers like say, I don't know, 20, 30, well, you're not gonna be able to give them 20, 30% commission because they're just not gonna be making that much money. They're gonna be having you know a full-time schedule here and they're gonna be making a couple hundred bucks a week on those, right? So what you could do here, if you wanted to go that route of just like scaling a sales team and having two or three people, two or three closers on, you'd probably, you'd have to add like some form of onboarding fee. You're charging 297 a month for the monthly subscription, you probably have to add another at least like 199 or 297 one-time onboarding fee just so you can use that to help cover the closer's commission. So, you know, you can do that, it's good, it's gonna drop your close rate, but it still will help you pull in more cash where you can, you know, you can pay your, your sales guys like a pretty good, um, pretty good weekly base pay and commission to, to be taking all those calls. Or, you know, you could pivot into a webinar which is, that's what we're doing right now. Appointment cost has been cheaper for the webinars because it's positioned as a free training that when they click on the ad and they go to the booking page, it only happens once a week. We've been pretty consistent here from like 15 to $25 on the week um, at a $200 a day spend. Okay, and this is kind of where, um, you know, the, the, the first couple, the first like 10 clients you bring on, you want to be doing everything you can to make it work for those clients. Like you want to be giving them one-to-one -one onboarding, one-to-one -one support, one-to-one -one coaching calls, just so you can not only like ha sign all those clients and retain them, but this way you can get some testimonials out of that kind of first batch that comes in, right? But the whole idea here is that it's going to be tough to scale out those one-to-one, -one, those one-to-one -one demos, 
once you start spending more than like 150 bucks a day. So like right now, as I'm making this video, like right now for the webinar that we have running this week, um, ads are kind of ripping today. It, they're pretty cheap, but let's see. We've got two different campaigns running and they're both running at 200 bucks a day. So we're spending $400 a day right now. Okay, and this is again, the phase that we're kind of in now, scaling past, you know, getting that 10, $20,000 a month plus range through webinars, because now we can do a one-to-many sales call instead of just one-to-one -one all day, every day. You, you don't have to jump straight into webinars. Like, I think it is important to have that period where you're doing one-to-one -one calls so you know exactly what your audience wants. You know all the objections that are gonna come your way, because when you're doing a webinar, you're not gonna get that, like, instant feedback. It's more of a training. Like, you're, you're kind of just talking for an hour and then at the end, you kind of open up the floor and it's like, hey, you know, if you guys have questions, now's the time to ask them, right? But when you're on a sales call, like you're gonna get objections and you're gonna get people asking questions basically immediately. So it's good to have that period, not only to like get you to a point where, you know, you're making four or $5,000 a month. Okay, the business is, is kind of running now, right? Like now you have some money to spend, you can really start to scale it up from there. But going through that first phase, I think that's the most important phase, is doing the sales calls and not trying to find like a, you know, uh, a loophole or like a, an easier way to go about it. Like there really is no easier way. That's exactly what we did. So now I want to tell you guys uh, some things that we tried that absolutely did not work. So a few of those. Um, one point, one point, right? Let's go pointer. We need a big game on Thursday. Um, but yeah, one, one, one point here, you're probably gonna want to do a free trial to try to like get people in. Do not run free trials like that. We, we did run free trials and we tested it for a while and it literally just does not work. Like it, the way that I, you would always think about this, this is exactly what I thought. It's like, oh, well, if I run a seven or 14 day free trial, I'm gonna bring on you know way more people, right? Because the, the people who are gonna pay they're obviously gonna take the free trial, then it's gonna get people who are on the fence, once they're in, you can convert them, right? Has like the inverse effect. The people who are ready to pay and they, they wanna get to work, now their mentality is gonna switch from, okay, you know, I'm ready to pay, I'm ready to get going, let's hit it, to, oh, I got this 14 day free trial. Now they become lazy. You know, free trials, people just sign up and they expect it to work. Whatever their definition of work is, a lot of the time it's like a deal closed within that two week period, which is just like never gonna happen. So when they don't see that, when they don't see it working, or if they run into even one tiny problem, they're canceling, card's gonna bounce, they're, they're not signing up, right? So you're actually losing the people who are ready to go. You're not, you're not bringing on the people who are on the fence and then converting them. Those people are probably gonna be gone anyway. It's, you're, you're losing the people who are ready to pay you today. So just, I would just not run free trials. I'm never gonna run a free trial ever again for this type of product. Self-checkouts did not work for us either. Even with like a pretty good VSL, if you're just running ads to cold traffic and you're just expecting them to check out without really knowing anything about you, about your product, being able to ask questions, like even at $99 a month, it is very difficult to get a self-checkout just because like there's so much shit that people see that they could buy like these people are clicking on a million ads a day like if they're opting into um, a call with us or to join our webinar or signing up for a free training like they're signing up to like 50 so it's like they're 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 gonna go through all those before they go to the self-checkout and even like even if you have a diesel vsl you just have a way better chance of converting these people on a one-to-one -one call or on a webinar than a self-checkout. Like we wasted so much money trying to get a self-checkout to work. It sounds great, right? Like just get some ads, we throw a VSL up and then we get people, you know, buying our product on autopilot. But it just, it just doesn't work that way. Maybe it does for other people. It didn't work, it did not work for us. So that, uh, that's kinda, those are my thoughts on that. Yeah, I think that's the video. Hopefully you guys like that one. Uh, yeah, if you guys, if you guys wanna, if you guys wanna see more, more videos like that, like the video for me, subscribe to the channel. You can join our free SaaS school community on school. If you wanna see more behind the scenes on exactly how uh, we're running this business. So I'll throw that in the description below. But other than that, catch you guys in the next video. Peace.